I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force. We're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in the pre-selected categories. This is a great exercise if you want to push yourself out of your comfort zone and play something that you might not normally consider. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We are going to force hands in Winds and Dragons, consecutive run, and 2468. We're going to alternate between dealer and non dealer. I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a joker, flower, dragon, green, green dragon, three, six, seven in dots with a pair of threes, four, five, six, eight, nine in bams, singles, and we have a pair of sevens. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play around the multiples. We have two, three, and seven. We need to do wins consecutive run, or wins and dragons, consecutive run in two, four, six, eight. Since our multiples are with odds, I would play consecutive run. The choices we have are three, four, five, six, based on threes, or six, seven, eight, nine, maybe five, six, seven, eight. Because we have more tiles for five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine, I think that's what I would play. So I would break these up. Pass those three and play six, seven, eight, nine of some kind. There's a six. Now we have two multiples, six and seven. So we would do, let's say, five, six, seven, mixed suit Kongs. We could do six, seven, eight. Maybe we could do six, seven, six, seven, dragon. So I think I would keep the green. We did give it up, but we could get it back in the second Charleston. So let's pass six, seven. Let's pass these three. Five. We're consecutive, so I would hold the five. Five, six. Five, six. Five, six. Five, six. We have those to pass, so something here has to go. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Six, seven, eight. With those, we did not use these right here. Five, six. We could do, let's see, maybe we could keep the number tiles and let the dragon go. Because we could do, let's see, five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight. We really didn't use this or this, but keeping those will give us more flexibility. Oh, we got a four. Four. Four, five, six, seven. That would use one multiple, though. I would let it go. And I really don't like passing white dragons. Maybe we could play five, six, seven dragon. 
let's let this go. Whoa, we got a pair. Two, two, four, two, four. We could maybe have done two, four, six, eight, but we let a six go in BAMs. So I think what I would do here is probably play six, seven, eight, or five, six, seven. There's no gaps there. Let's see. Five, six, seven, dragon. I wouldn't pass a pair, so something has to go. We could still maybe do five, six, seven, dragon. So maybe let one of these go. This is going to be a little bit risky, actually. Two, four, eight. I think instead of two, four, eight. Oh, two, four, or two and dragon? No. Okay, we're going to do the best we can with what we have. I think I would risk it. Passing a two with a white, that, that would be really risky. There's a five. Five, seven. Odds is not on here, so I would let that go. Right across, left, left across. We're on last right. So let's pass these three. Seven. Okay, so five, six, seven, dragon. We have three tiles to pass for optional. So let's pass these three. No keepers. We do have a four, though. We could do four, five, six, seven. So I would keep that and discard those. So we have consecutive run, a few options. I would not pick a hand till we run out of discards. So we have here consecutive run. If you would have done something differently, write force one in the comment section below and what you would have done with these tiles. We have a flower north and west, two, four, six in cracks, five, seven, eight in bams with a pair of fives, one, five in dots, and a white dragon. We can either do two, four, six, eight or winds and dragons. We do have two, four, six, eight, four tiles, mixed suits. So there are a couple of hands we could try with a flower. We'd have to let a pair go. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe do news with like numbers. There's one more tile in there. So let's, I really don't like passing a white dragon, but here we have an equal, well, let's see, five and five. We have an equal number of tiles for both of those categories. So let's risk it. West and South and a three. Here, we don't need a west if we play news with fives. We don't have evens here. Let's let the eight go because we might be able to do one suit, but wins with fives looks much better at this point. We got a north. We did get a four, but we have two, four, six here. I think I would let these go at this point. Focus on news with fives. Flower. Hmm. Okay, well, we have tiles we can pass here. Maybe we should keep that. Actually, we could maybe even keep the flowers because we could play news with flowers. Let's pass these three. 
Oh, five dot. Let's let the dragon go. These probably are going to have to go. News with fives. No keepers. And we have like numbers. But I think like numbers hmm, is better than passing a flower. We're on, let's see, right across left, left across. We're on right. We could pass one blind and not pass a flower. I think I would do that here. No keepers. So for optional, we have three. No keepers, discards. Maybe joker bait there. If you wanna know more about joker bait, look for links in the video description below. This is a strategy coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama, and you could get a joker if you play it well. Timing is critical with that strategy. So look for those videos. So here we have three discards with joker bait and news with fives, a specific hand in Winds and Dragons. I think that was a pretty good Charleston. We need a single east and a south, but we've got two multiples there that we can use for the Kongs. Now we need to force two, four, six, eight. We have a joker, north, south, west, red dragon, two, four, five, seven in bams, four, six, eight in cracks, five, eight in dots. We need to force two, four, six, eight. So we'll let these go. There is an offsuit dragon hand, so we can keep that. Let the odds go. So that's what we have to work with. So let's break up the wins. We'll pass those. Flower, dragon. We don't have to pick a hand or think about those. We're just gonna keep gathering. Let's pass these three. Sixes, south and nine. Now we have to whittle down. We have two, four, six, four, six, eight, six, eight. Maybe we can let one of the dragons go. We are in mixed suits. We could maybe do two, four, six, eight dragon, or let that go and do two, four, six, eight dragon. Or maybe play the concealed hand. Let's let these go. Four dot. Okay, so we have lots of two, four, six, eight here. I think to use this flower, maybe keep the two, four, six, eight tiles and let the dragon go. I try not to pass white dragons, but we need some help. We got a two, our first multiple, two. So let's see here, we could maybe do Two, four, six, eight, dragon. We wouldn't need the flower. We could still maybe do two, four, six, eight, concealed. We have one tile to pass, we're going across. I think I'd let the dragon go. And now we have to decide what to do. We could maybe try for the concealed, or not the concealed hand, but the first two, four, six, eight hand. Since we have potential for the concealed hand where eights are pungs. We could use jokers for the eights. So let's let the eight crack go. And it's 
really arbitrary which one. Let's let that go, Let's see what we get here. We got a six and an eight. I think I would probably consider the first hand with flowers or the, let's see, pair of six bams too. Two, four, six, eight, eight. Maybe we'll get that eight back. So let's keep the eight and break these up right here. This is, this is a little risky. I think no matter how we slice this, it's gonna be risky unless we give up the eight and at least minimize that risk a little bit. Four, five, six, four, six, four, six, eight, four, five, eight. Keep the eight. I think that the risk is going to be the same regardless. Oh, that's really risky. Let's do four, six, five. At least it's a little mixed up. Oh, we got the four right there, four. Two, four, six, eight, dragon. We would need the red dragon back to play that mixed suit dragon hand. Wait a minute, it's two, four, six, eight, dragon. This four, if we played, let's see, two, four, four, six, eight, crack. Let's just see what we get back. Let's keep that four. Two, four, four, six. Let's let the eight go and pass fully. Maybe we'll get the eight crack back. Nope. We have discards, but we have the first hand no gaps. We could maybe use that there or with the flower for the two, four, six, eight first hand. We have four discards and joker bait. It's gonna take some work. But we have a hand with no gaps. Sometimes it can look a little bleak when you're forcing hands. Always pick a plan B just in case it doesn't work out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.